Sam, welcome to Halloween Daily. Thank you so much for talking Thanks, to man. us today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk about your new film, The Seed. It's an awesome new film coming to Shutter, and we're going to talk about that. But but before I get to the, the film, we are Halloween Daily News, where every day is Halloween. And so I always start the interviews <laughs> with a few questions about the holiday itself. And so I'm curious with, with you, um, was Halloween something that you celebrate and knew about where you grew up? Yeah, yeah, Halloween's quite big in England. Um, okay. We do trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. We, uh, when we were horrible little kids, we used to like throw smoke bombs through people's doors or front gardens <laughs> or all sorts of, you know, the, the traditional Halloween uh, fun. Then I guess as, um, as I got older and got into making films, I got into making costumes. So I made my own, uh, I went to a party once I made my own, my own leather mask. Which was uh, like, a, like a like a like a handmade uh, leather gimp mask, which I sewed a sewed a zip into it, mm -hmm. uh, matching dungarees. Cycled up the hill to the party, thinking oh, I was looking pretty great. <laughs> no one wanted to dance with me. It looked like such, such a such a horror show. It was really it was really the mark when you make a. Uh, I quite like uh, leather masks, uh, generally speaking. <laughs> in, uh, yeah. In, uh, as, as a kind of like a visual, as visual icon, a visual visual imagery, but making your own, it's a, I, I recommend it. I had a little button eye, one mm -hmm. button and a zip, and then you have to tie it at the back, which is quite good. But the only the only person that upstaged me at that Halloween party was uh, was uh, my friend Jono, who showed mm -hmm. up um, as the uh, student student loans. Uh, uh, coll <laughs> collector, which was like everyone who saw, everyone saw me, they're like, "Oh God, what the hell's that?" And then they saw him, they're like, "Oh, yeah, that's God. real horror there, right?" That's true. That's deep horror. Is yeah, that that's, that's that, yeah. That, yeah. That's the scariest see. figure you can be on Halloween. Right? Yeah, he's like, "What?" Because he, he did it with a name badge. He just had a little clipboard and a name tag, and, we, and everyone's like, well, "What are you?" Oh, and everyone saw it. You know, a bunch of artists, a bunch of artists at a party. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> that's horrible. awesome." That's awesome. And, um, and we all we always ask, what is your favorite Halloween candy and, and your favorite Halloween costume? Is it that that mask? And my ha Halloween candy, I don't know if I do, we didn't, we could, because of the zip in the mouth, it's quite hard to get yeah. candy in. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and, and, that, and that mask I wore for many years. So I'm not sure if I had a, mm -hmm. I don't know, if favorite candy, favorite, favorite Halloween costume. I did do a, I did do a kind of demonic uh, daredevil one. Oh, I, nice. I, I, I did once, but I did my, I painted my face red for it and uh, the paint didn't, paint doesn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that, it was not, it was not the paint that comes off. Yeah. <laughs> so for quite a while afterwards, I had like scrub marks and, uh, and, oh, uh, and, and red, red raw skin, but it was <laughs> worth it. It yeah. was worth it. Very cool. Very cool. I love hearing that. Um, so, so when did you, you find your way into filmmaking? When, when did you realize this was something that you really wanted to pursue? Uh, I, I studied theater originally and I was, I was okay. quite into, I was quite into Grotowski and uh, Anton Artaud. Um, so quite extreme, extreme sort of uh, extreme theater, performance mm -hmm. theater. Uh, and then I came across a filmmaker called Jan Svankmeyer, who's a Czech animator uh, and sort of fringe surrealist who was banned by the Communist Party in Czechoslovakia for one of his oh, wow. surreal films, uh, which is pretty, um, pretty amazing. He was banned for quite a long time. Um, but, you know, he made a very strange film. And they're like, that's anti, anti us. So uh, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't make films. But I mean, it, it just basically validated everything he was saying in the movie in a, in mm -hmm. a way. And I, I thought that, 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 that balance of sort of social commentary with sure. surrealism, using the unreal to explore the real, had me fascinated from quite an early age. And Jan Svankmeyer is just, is the, just the genius of, of, of that of that work and then you know I guess that brought me into film and then I was constantly looking around at like like how do I how do I make stuff and then um, I made my first short film uh, on 500 pounds <laughs> <laughs> film called, a film called a wonderful film called Duck Children that went on a one like back-to-back -back festivals and it's a really childish nasty little fairy tale uh, with no words not the kind of thing that you would expect to uh change your life but it did mm. um you know I, I put it into the local film festival and it got a little mention there and then it went and won Clermont Ferrand and it got the back page of uh Liberation in Liberation in, in France Canal Plus picked it up and you know from going from like someone who was just quite angry with their lot in life mm. I was suddenly like you know in Screen International as an up-and-coming sort of talent um 
Yeah, so the, I guess, and, and I and I realize, and I, I think that film is is again that that, that short film has a, a social commentary sort of hidden within it, but with no words. And it's, yeah. it's and, and it's kind of a horror. It's, it's a horror film. And the thing is, actually, I wasn't, you know, I mean, I like I've always sort of liked Alien and the classics, like uh, the Thing and uh, uh, They Live, and you know, I like I liked extreme cinema. But Dark Children went on, that film went and won a bunch of horror film festivals. Uh, and I was like, so I got flown out to these horror film festivals. And so I went to San Sebastian. And they were like, oh, we love your film. It's amazing. It's like, da, da, da. it's the first film that we've ever had in a festival that made the audience shut up. Because San Sebastian is a festival where everyone shouts at the films and, and comments, and which is amazing. I love that festival. <laughs> Great audience. But it's the fir first time that they'd had a film that made everyone go quiet, yeah. you know, which is why they gave it the Jimmy Award. And I was like, wow. And it really validated uh, what I was doing. And I guess, you know, it's those festivals and that, that kind of feedback gives you the, you know, the, the will to be able to go on because making films is an absolutely diabolical career move. Certainly being a mm -hmm. white director, it is. You're not going to make any money <laughs> yeah. and you're, you're going to constantly get shouted at. Right. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> everyone's going to tell you your, your, your ideas don't work. Mm -hmm. And so you just have to have the fortitude to hang in there and festivals and, you know, good reviews and, you know, even, you know, people that don't get it, but people that feel something about your work, it, it, that's what gets you. And you're like, I'm communicating with people. I'm getting that that feeling, and it's it's incredibly important uh, that. And I think you know. Then you know, I just kind of just kept at it. Made another film. Made another film, and just kept going. Took, and now you, and now you've got six, your yeah your feature, feature. <laughs> your your feature yeah. film uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. coming out here. Um, and, and that did, had a great run on the festival circuit. It's about to hit Shutter as as we're recording yeah. this interview. Yeah. Um, what what can you tell our audience about? the seed i watched it the other night i love it i think i think fans um are going to gravitate to it they're going to find it on shutter it's got a lot to offer there is some social commentary there and and there's a lot of surprises along the way it's, it's got some some laughs it's got some gore it's it's got a little bit of everything what can you tell our audience about the seed i mean you know i, I guess i just i wanted to make a, a popcorn creature feature fun movie uh and hide something in it mm -hmm. about some of the stuff that's really frightening me in the world, you know, and I think we're we're all as a society becoming more and more concerned with how social media operates and the the, the dark and nefarious algorithms are, you know, mm -hmm. show, show, you know, your, your auntie goes and watches, um, you know, a couple of YouTube videos. And next thing you know, she's because the algorithm has decided she wants to like watch QAnon. She's like, ah, QAnon's nice. That sounds cool. And next thing you know, it's like, you know. Like marijuana leads to heroin. It's uh, you know, it's it's, and I, and I think that is um, that's sort of what's at the heart of the scene is this desire to make something fun, pop, entertaining, and hide social kind of commentary uh, within it. I was I was hugely inspired by um, Nick Rogue's film The Man Who Fell to Earth. I think the alien sex scene in that is just mm -hmm. very milky and yeah. <laughs> and involved and and trample and lots of trampolines. And it's got yeah. David Bowie in it and, it and, you know, people pissing themselves. And, I, you know, I just, I really, I loved how bizarre and strange and otherworldly it was. There's a painter called Amber Wellman that I'm a big fan of her work. Strange, twisted bodies and a weird cat watching. Uh, Federica Dowry and uh, her, um, Hermes Patakos, who worked on the film Performance Artists. I love their avant-garde work. I guess, you know, as a fan of Alien, I'm always, you know, like, how can you make genre cinema more, I don't know, give it a bit of a, give it a weird sort of spice. And I guess, you know, Alien has got Geiger in it. And there's, you know, what makes that, not, it's not the only thing that makes Alien amazing. Everything in Alien is amazing. Um, but certainly Geiger's influence is, uh, is, is uh, up front and center, isn't it? You know, in the, in the weirdness department. Uh, and so, you know, I wanted to do that with the seed as, as well. Um, massive fan of practical effects. I don't particularly like visual uh, digital effects. I always feel like they date ultimately. Obviously we used a few for, uh, the shooting stars but you know I like editing I like making stuff and cutting it together we shot all the the trippy stuff in and fish tanks with oils and you know my, my cast were ready willing and able to to get get involved in some fairly uh intense performance work themselves so bless them for that but yes yeah, uh yes yeah, um first first feature tight budget in a pandemic <laughs> <laughs> um two two takes per shot it was mm -hmm. uh you know it was fast and furious we had to run out of money had to finish the film in uh, london in a warehouse using um uh, my commercials crew that i worked with who came in 
production designer, Dave Arrowsmith, got in his van from Scotland, drove a set down to this warehouse and built us an interior for a cabin there. You know, it was a, it was a real labour of, um, I want to say love, but it was horrible. <laughs> but, well, you, know, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it definitely delivers. And like you said, it's got a little bit of everything for everybody. And, and there is some of that social commentary that I love. You know, the, the Masters, Carpenter, Romero, they always would layer their films with that as well. And, yeah. um, and it's just a, a fun watch, too. I mean, it's not like yeah. it's a political movie. It's a fun watch. Yeah. And, um, and, gotcha. and your, your three leads are amazing. You know, they all, they're in pretty much every frame of the film, and, and they yeah. carry a lot of it. And, um, and you've got this exciting new uh, creature that, that, <laughs> that you introduce, this visitor that um, invades their, their party. I even thought of John Carpenter's The Thing watching it. Yeah. Kind of a weird yeah, yeah. kind of counterpoint to instead of it being all cold and freezing and, and a bunch of guys dealing with this alien invader uh, taking them over, it's kind of the opposite. It's, it's three, three women on this sunny vacation spot in this house. <laughs> And um, but it's a lot of fun, and um, and it, it does get crazy at the end. I think horror fans are gonna love it. Yeah, yeah, it was a, uh, yeah, so it's a. Uh, I'm I'm really I'm I'm really proud of it. You know, it's uh, a a lot of work goes into into making making films. I guess the, I guess the other thing is you know, it's a it's a chamber piece ultimately, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like that's that it doesn't feel like a chamber piece, right? But it is. It's quite contained. One location, yes. you know, and a and a creature. You know that, and when you're starting out trying to make films, you always, you know, your budgets are super tight, and the, the limitations are there. And I think that's one of the things I was thinking at the beginning was like, how do you make something that doesn't feel like a chamber piece, but that is achievable within the parameters that you're going to have to work within? But yeah, cast cast were knockout, knockout, spectacular creatures. Creatures a bit of fun, skinned little bear. I just yes. uh, someone someone said that how do we come up with the idea for the thing, and I was like, mm -hmm. I, I, one, one thing that's really worth. Uh, uh, checking out on Google is like creatures that have washed up on beaches because oh, yeah. you get these animals that have died or whatever like there's a three-toed sloth somewhere in South America that its skin all came off so I wanted the creature to feel uh, credibly earthly but also yeah. have alien elements to it mm -hmm. so yeah so there's a there's a lot of a it's, it's a fun it's a fun little guy fun sweaty little guy it raised a, I guess um, it raised a head on holiday yeah. was, was my was my read on that yeah <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean, it definitely is a unique look, you know, I think it's not what, what you're expecting, really. And but like you said, it does kind of have this weird mix of something, you know, familiar, earthly that, that we've seen, or, or like you said, something that washes up, you know, we have seen those those animals, those cross breeded creatures that have, yeah. have been born in the ocean and have the walked Filipino, up, washed Filipino, up. There's a there's a pig dog. There's a really good pig dog online somewhere. It's amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. Yeah, and that stuff is is real, and it, it's it, it's so interesting uh, how that how that um, actually happens and where that stuff comes from, and and yeah, you, you look at those pictures, and it does look like something out of a horror movie. Yeah, really, 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 and truly. Awesome, awesome, good stuff. Well, again, Sam, I just want to thank you so much for talking to us today. Um, I think this is my time, so I'm going to let you go. Yeah, but. Um, I, I know people, fans are going to love this movie. They're going to find it on Shudder. And I, it feels like one of those midnight movies, you know, that yeah. you see at the festivals. And, and it's a, a, a closer on a Friday night or a Saturday night and gets the crowd going. And um, it's just a fun ride. You know, it's, it's, it's funny. It starts off kind of kind of lighthearted and funny, like a dark comedy. And then just goes places you don't necessarily see it going. And, um, yeah, I, I, I think uh, fans are really going to enjoy it. So, I really appreciate you taking taking this time to talk to us today. Thanks, Matt, and thanks for your time as well. You know, like uh, as I was saying with the festivals and stuff like that, it's uh, you know the feedback that you get from people that watch your work is what keeps you going in this crazy, crazy job. So thank you very much for your time as well, and I, you know, I hope that hope the fans enjoy it as well. So thanks very much. Absolutely, and um, I hate saying goodbye, so we are Halloween daily. So I'm just going to be the first to wish you a happy Halloween 2022. Bless you, bless you. I can't wait. Get my leather mask back out. There you go. <laughs> See you later, Matt. Take it easy. Cheers, cheers. Absolutely. Thanks, Sam. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.